friends in a previous class we have studied the various chemicals which are involved in the changing the behavior of the insect for pest management among them we have two main groups that is uh, chemicals which are used for the intra communication and another one is the chemicals which are used for inter communication uh, mechanism so here we have allylo chemicals these are the chemicals which are used for the inter specific communication and they are going to change the insect behavior and also ecology here we have few categories one is halomon so here the releaser is going to benefit by releasing the chemical not a receiver but in case of chiromon receiver is going to benefit in case of cinnamon both the species that is releaser and also receiver they are going to benefit in case of another category of uh, allylo chemical that is anemone wherein these chemicals they are produced by non living substances only receiver is going to benefit now let us see what exactly the pheromones which are actually used for uh, intra specific uh, communication these pheromones they are the chemicals or mixtures of chemicals they are released to the exterior environment by a species and it is going to bring out the changes in the another organism of the same species so let us see what are the uh, pheromones actually which are used for uh, intra specific communication based on uh, their function we can divide these pheromones into sex pheromones aggregation pheromones alarm pheromones trail pheromones and also host marking pheromones among these pheromones sex pheromones they are uh, well utilized in the integrated pest management wherein it is much studied in uh, lepidopteran groups of uh, chemicals i mean uh, insects because they are somewhat simpler but in other cases it is not well studied because of their complex nature these pheromones they are more complex and they are associated with the some physiological process like uh, sexual maturity environmental stimuli that is photo period and also light intensity these are quite volatile and they are going to bring specific stimuli in related species or in same species and they are going to cause much response in the other species in longer distance okay what is the main difference between sex pheromone and uh, the uh, chemicals which are produced by the host plant so these uh, host plant uh, uh, chemicals they are uh, mostly volatile and they are not uh, specific and they are going to attract both uh, species of insects and at the same times other species whereas the sex pheromones they are going to attract only particular species or uh, same species and uh, they are volatility it is variable from low to high in case of pheromones we have aggregation pheromones so these aggregation pheromones they are produced by a set of uh, uh, or group of uh, insects these insects they are going to aggregate for their food sites or for reproductive habitats or even for hibernation purposes these aggregation pheromones they are much understood in case of bark beetles and uh, they are going to attract uh, the poor places then what are the alarm pheromones so as the name indicates these alarm pheromones are they are going to create some defensive mechanism and also some avoidance mechanism so this uh, mechanism was uh, much studied in case of some social insects like ants and bees and also in some of the aphid species and uh, the function of uh, this alarm pheromones is to raise alert in the same species and thereby they are going to raise some defense and also avoidance mechanism in the other uh, species of the same organism so you have seen uh, 
the when uh, B attacks some uh, individual, so they are going to release some alarm pheromones. Thereby, the other species, I mean uh, same uh, honeybee, they are going to follow the uh, victim for further attack. Next, what are the trail pheromones? So, as the name indicates, these trail pheromones, they are going to mark the way. So, as you seen in case of uh, uh, ants, so they are going to move in one direction in one line, they, thereby they are going to mark the where the food is available, thereby the other insects of same group, they are going to follow the food source. And uh, next, in case of uh, other insects uh, like uh, bees, it is very helpful in case of foraging. Likewise, it was much studied in bumblebees also. And uh, the little bit study is also done in case of uh, host marking pheromones. So, here is one example of fruit fly, wherein it is going to ovipoist some fruits, thereby it is another fruits, they can avoid the uh, same host from ovipoison and uh, they can uh, ovipoist in other uh, host plants and uh, can uh, avoid the intercompetition between the uh, uh, two insects. Okay. Till now we have studied the some of the sex pheromones, some of the pheromones which are uh, useful in uh, pest management programs. But much of the study was done in uh, sex pheromones which are uh, much used in the uh, pest management programs. How best one can uh, exploit uh, uh, these uh, pheromones in the pest management uh, programs? So, now we have more than uh, 2000 uh, uh, pheromones which are actually identified and isolated. Only in a few insects these have been applied for pest management program. These pheromones they are exploited in three ways that is one for monitoring, for uh, mass trapping and also for mating disruption technique. So, these uh, pheromones can be installed in the fields for the monitoring of uh, uh, insect species. So, hence they are quite uh, specific only in some of the Lepidopteran species it is uh, much studied and uh, also exploited for the monitoring purpose. Here is one example wherein you can put these uh, pheromone traps in uh, cotton fields also in uh, paddy fields for monitoring purpose. So, based on these monitoring as well uh, you can uh, detect the pest and uh, know the pest density and as well you can assess the natural elements present in that ecosystem as well you can assess the pest phenology and also these pheromones can be effectively used in the mating disruption technique and uh, this uh, technique how far it is useful can be can also be assessed through this monitoring. By using these pheromone traps as well you can assess the insect resistance which is occurring in particular species and based on your uh, monitoring results as well you can use uh, this uh, monitoring data for decision making in the IPM programs. These pheromone traps or uh, in general pheromones have been also utilized in uh, mass trapping of the some of the insect uh, species wherein these can be controlled in two ways one is attract and kill and uh, another one is attract and infect or lure and infect. So, in uh, by using these pheromone traps as well you can attract the insects thereby you can destroy the attracted species. So, here is uh, one example it is uh, much studied in case of uh, uh, fruit fly use methyl eugenol for attraction of the uh, species and also by blending with uh, melathion as well you can uh, uh, trap these uh, uh, fruit flies thereby you are going to destroy the many number of these uh, fruit fly species. The another example is a pink bollworm wherein by putting uh, the traps that is 12 traps per acre as well you can uh, trap number of uh, adults so that you can reduce the population in a location. The another one is 
attractant in fact, wherein these pheromones can be blended with other uh, entomopathogens like uh, nematodes, bacteria, fungi and viruses and uh, as well you can disseminate this disease in other species of insects. So, by studying the effectiveness of uh, the pheromone uh, uh, traps, uh, the, their uh, utilization in uh, uh, mass trapping of uh, important pests. So, scientists have recommended uh, these uh, pheromone traps for utilization in pest management uh, uh, program in uh, various crops. So, in uh, crops like uh, rice, so for the management of yellow stem borer, as well you can use 5 traps per hectare. And also in case of uh, uh, leaf marine in groundnut, as well you can use 25 traps per hectare, so that uh, one can uh, trap the adults and destroy the or reduce the pest population in a location. So, another way how pheromones can be utilized in pest management means through mating disruption. So, it is one technique thereby you are going to create some confusion among the same species. So, these synthesized uh, pheromones by utilizing as well you can uh, permeate the whole environment thereby it could not able to identify the same species for its mating thereby it is uh, going to die without mating. This phenomena was much utilized in the some of the species for uh, pest management. So, it was well studied and uh, well utilized in uh, case of uh, paddy stem borer and also in case of uh, uh, pink bollworm wherein by putting uh, some 200 uh, PBW ropel per hectare as well you can reduce the population of this uh, pink bollworm. So, the role of these uh, uh, pheromones it is uh, well utilized and uh, still much work has to be done uh, in this uh, direction for uh, better utilization of uh, these uh, uh, pheromones in the pest management program. In our next class we will study the other insects which are uh, used for uh, uh, pest management uh, program through insect modifying technique. Thank you.